So to study the bacteria, especially bacteria, we have two types of preparations. The unstained preparation known as wet preparation because we can use it only when they are wet in the drop. Once they will dry, the bacteria will be dead and it is not visible. So the unstained preparation has to be observed in wet, in wet state in not in dry state and the second type is the stain preparation now let's start with unstained preparation first unstained preparation we cannot see the morphology of the bacteria now you have to understand this all bacterias are transparent they do not have any color they are transparent and the slide on which we put the bacteria this th that is also transparent human eyes cannot see a transparent thing on a transparent background if you want to see anything, you require contrast. Now, in the same way, if you want to see the bacteria which are transparent, you have to stain either the bacteria or you have to stain the background, right? So, if you use the unstained technique, you cannot see the morphology of the bacteria. Then why at all we use the unstained preparation? The unstained preparation is used to see the motility of the bacteria, not the morphology. Please mind my words. I am repeating again, the unstained preparations are used to see the motility of the bacteria, not the morphology of the bacteria. We cannot see the size, shape of the bacteria, the structure of the bacteria on unstained preparation. But on unstained preparation, we can see the motility, right? Imagine a transparent bacteria is moving on a transparent background, that is slide. So we can, we can see that something is moving, but we cannot make out its exact structure, its shape and the morphology. But we can make out that something is moving. So that's why the unstained preparations are used to see the motility of the bacteria or else these are used for very thin bacteria which is the thinnest bacteria in the world. The thinnest bacteria are the spirochetes. They are thread-like. They are as thin as a thread. So for the thin bacteria, the spirochetes in dark ground microscopy, they are used. These are the only two used of unstained preparation.